Hello, hello, hello. This is Alistair, aka Skytrap123, welcoming you to my Let's Play channel. And we're kicking off with the first ever project on this YouTube channel Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. Uh, all the Mario Kart footage has been pre recorded, as all my videos will be. And the aim. Of this project is to get gold on every single cup on 150cc and we are going to be using a lucky two on, on every course so prior to the to this recording or for the eight cups that start the main game I don't have the DLC, but we're gonna go with my trusty combo of the Yoshi bag with the cushion, cushion, cushion wheels, along with the Bowser by ba Bowser kite. Now, this is why I prefer this layout over over like the other layouts. Is because I've just been attuned to it. So we're going to start with the Mushroom Cup with the Mario Kart Stadium, the Water Park, Sweet Sweet Canyon, and oh, I can't remember the last one, and it was just there. <laughs> well, ever since playing Mario Kart Wii, I've been attuned to bikes. I was always using the carts because I've played all the games prior, but bikes felt more comfortable with me. So we're kicking off with the Mario Kart Stadium. Now, impressions, I'll be talking about my impressions of each course as we go through each level. Kicking off with Mario Kart Stadium. Now, my impressions of this course when I first played it was... It a good opener course. It beats the typical Luigi circuits, which this one doesn't have a Luigi circuit, which made me a bit more happy because from past experiences with Mario Kart Wii when we were playing online, we would always get people who just wanted Luigi circuit. And it just did nothing for me, I weren't a big fan. So coming into this sort of already less hyped because I did watch the Game Explains YouTube channel where they did a lap of every single course at the current time they could do. So I knew what was to expect. But it's well for me it's a good opener, it shows up. It doesn't show the anti-crowd properly, as like, for example, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. This is awkward, mind blank. As an example of the GBA remake of Mario Circuit 3, I believe. The GBA Mario Circuit, which is which you'll see later on, where that has a good use of the hands crowd. Where the course originally didn't have like a huge gap jump, a huge um, ramp, but they made it so well. And for me, it's, it's a good starter. And as you can see, we got first place, which even was more, even more glorious, as you can call it. It was a glorious victory. As we move to Waterpark. Now, Waterpark to me was the equivalent to coconut mall for me from the Wii version where 
great idea, great layout, but for me the track was a little bit cluttered at areas. With the sense that right at the end you've got the YBO swings. Whereas on like the coconut mall you've got the me cars, the kind of me cars that drive in front of you. Which to me was fun but a challenge. Whereas this one like like within the mall where it's basically open to a lot. And there's a lot of few jumps. This just plays with the anti grab with the spinner boosts. Which, as you can see, I'm just gonna. which I touched, if my words correctly. What do I like? What do I like about this course is. probably. the underwater section, because you really don't do underwater very. in Mario Kart. If it was an underwater bit, it was probably for a couple of seconds or. It just didn't let you. For the anti grab, you've brilliant, brilliant idea for this. From moving it from Mario, from implement, implement the vehicle's gliders from seven, and the anti grab for eight. Just a brilliant idea. Do I like this course? Yes, I do. It's probably one I would pick if it was out of all the ones I don't like and this was like the other one available, I would always pick it. And we've come in third, which is a little bit of a worry when you're doing the first cup and, and you don't get first in every single place. Next we have Sweet Sweet Canyon. Now, Overall, this just reminds me of Racket Row, the sugar rush, that sugar rush area where they go like, where the main, a lot of the plot is held and I'm not going to talk about the plot. But for me, it just reminds me of Racket Row where, where they have the race near the end, near the end of the film. And it's like, and... To me, to me, it doesn't feel fresh. It felt like, oh, we're going to a level. Oh, I suck it. Hang on, this sort of reminds me of Racket for Ralph. Did they run out of ideas and went, oh, we'll do can, we'll do a candy level, Get the candy race, the candy level. But. I know they did it already with um, Chocolate Mountain on the N64 Mario Kart, but it just one of those courses that I do not like. Now, one thing I haven't talked about, and I'm probably gonna, I'm not gonna guarantee this is gonna be awesome commentary. It'd probably be bad, but is the new items, which at the current moment I am holding the Mega Horn. The Mega Horn is brilliant in some areas, but well, not brilliant in others. The Mega Horn will, when you launch it, does just like a little mini earthquake. So anyone around you gets stunned, as you've seen in the example, as you've just seen. The blessing in disguise for this item it can destroy blue shells. Hooray! We've got something that we can destroy blue shells with. But, blue shells are very rare in this game. It's probably one of the rare occasions where I've seen less blue shells than I would if I was doing Mario Kart Wii. But, 
we got the Megon, you got the Boomerang, which is a typical Boomerang. You got three shots, and you can do damage like it does with like what the shells do. Well, yeah, the shells do. The green shells. You've got the Fire Plow, which allows you to throw fireballs. Like you've got the Fire Plant in the Super Mario series. Or the Mario franchise, whichever ones you got the Fire Flower. You've got the Piranha Plants. These give you a little mini boost. What the Piranha Plants do is they give, they'll do a little chomp, you get a little boost, chomp, little boost, and they all go through the whole, not the whole cost, but it'll give you a few seconds, uh, probably a good. 10 seconds. Uh, the last item is the Mega 8. The Magic 8. The Magic 8 is one of, of the coolest items on it. But you don't get it until. unless you're in like the back end. What the Magic 8 is. is you get one of roughly every item circling around your vehicle, circling around you, and you can use them all. So you'll get a shell, a mushroom, a squid, I think you get a boomerang, and you get a banana, red shell, a green shell, a mushroom, I can't remember the other four for the love of me. But yes, that's the implement of the new arsenals you got. Oh, and you've also got the coins which appear from Mario Kart 7. The coins are how you get new vehicles parts. So new gliders, new Wheels, a new body part. I'm trying to think then. So, whoa. good on here. Do I like the new item setup? I like it, but I miss a Wii where you can hold an item. So, for example, I'm holding the banana now, and you just you could hold it and pick up another item. This it classes you're holding it. That's your item. And I haven't really talked about the front ruins, which I am um, should do because this is the final course of the mushroom cup. So going into this with first looks, it really didn't. It did something for me. I enjoyed the layout. I like the fact. Uh, you can actually take a shortcut um, in the middle, but you really have to time that shortcut because the rock phase does roll, like it's a gear and it rolls, 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 and you must time it right. There's also a shortcut which I've just done there, which is great, you can pull it off easy enough, but it does take practice that one. So my overall impressions of the course was that it's a good course, it's enjoyable. But would I really want to go back and doing it? Would I go back and play it online? If it was between that and two other courses, if my preferred one would be on there, I'd pick it. If the worst one was there, if it was two worst ones or two bad, okay about one bad one, and it was like one or two that is good, I'll probably not pick it as a change. It's the whole mushroom cup is a good starter for me. I enjoyed it. It's quite a good starter cup, and I'm gonna end the video. And I just jumped a bit ahead. <laughs> 
and I would like to know your opinion on this video. I'd like to know, do you enjoy the commentary? What was your favourite part of the video with the gameplay? What was your favourite course in the gameplay? In the cups? Or oh, cup, I show you. And if I could improve this let's play or improve the videos with the commentary, what would it be? And I'm gonna end the video here, so join me again next time when we do the Flower Cup on Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. So I'm gonna bid you a farewell for now, and I'll see you next time.